Welcome here to beautiful Braithwell. You can see the sun exploding on a kaleidoscope of colour. And I have to say, there's been a real area of controversy here because over the last few days, my God! Are you all right, sir? Are you all uh, right? Yeah, I'm getting used to it now, thanks. I feel like Fire Emblem Heroes is officially about to implode on itself. I mean, we have six Camillas. That is, like, four more than there should be. Huh. But, oh well, I suppose if you keep voting for characters who have a ton of alts, you might as well never change anything. Hi, my name is Zerk, and I have watched the scene from Much Ado About Nothing, where Keanu Reeves recites Shakespeare shirtless and sweaty several times unironically because I just love Keanu Reeves that damn much. Now, I want to set the scene for you. Imagine you're playing Fire Emblem 7, you're partway through Lin's campaign, it's the tutorial, you've been slogging through it, and you reach the chapter where you reach Arafin. You've recruited Matthew, and suddenly a mercenary jumps out of the folds to Lin, and this happens. <laughs> If you're like me, your immediate thought was that that was the coolest intro to any character you've seen thus far. And whoever this Wrath guy is, he is a total badass. Not only did he style kill a mercenary just like he was John Wick, he also looks like Keanu Reeves from the 80s and oh, oh, oh boy. So, you train him up, he becomes your best unit, and you get a ton of awesome mileage out of him. Re-recruit him and bring him all the way to the Fire Dragon, where he gets the final shot in. Because you like him as a character that damn much. I personally think Wrath is my favorite character in Fire Emblem 7, if not tied with Lin. I like him more than Hector, more than anyone else in that game, really, aside from Lin, if you know my reputation as well. Aside from that, however, I think Wrath is probably one of the most deserving characters to get into Fire Emblem Heroes. But here's the thing, Wrath will never be in Fire Emblem Heroes. And to know why Wrath will never be in Fire Emblem Heroes, and why your favorite character as well will never be in Fire Emblem Heroes either, it's time we conduct the Fire Emblem Heroes flowchart. <gasps> Today, the first question on our flowchart is of course, do they have a Y chromosome? If yes, congratulations, they probably won't be in Heroes unless there's a really good reason for it. What's that good reason, you might ask? Well, we have one of two choices. Either A, this character is a lord or incredibly important to the story, and thus they have high whale bait and high fan service potential. Or B, this character needs to fill out a spot on the banner because they need a four-star demote. Any of these, your character will get in heroes, but maybe not in the way you quite wanted them to. If it's the latter, congratulations, they're also probably not very good. Naturally, of course, our friend Mongolian Keanu Reeves, Wrath, over here falls under is that he stops at this junction. Wrath isn't exactly important to the story, and I don't think he'll fill out a banner because one specific reason. His wife has basically turned intelligence systems allergic to bow cavaliers. The enemy! Yes. Lin has made this game apprehensive to adding another bow cavalier. We have one other one, a seasonal alt for Roy of all people, who is kind of a very forgettable unit. That's just how the cookie crumbles, I suppose. As cool as Wrath is, and for what all he represents, he will never be in Heroes. Just look at all he has going for him. He was introduced in a chapter that introduces the racial prejudice between the Sakaeans and the Lycians probably one of the coolest pieces of writing in all of Fire Emblem 7, and definitely the most interesting dynamic in all of Lin's campaign, as well as laying the groundwork for the eventual main conflict of the Tellius series, one of the biggest fan-favorite anthologies in all of Fire Emblem. 
Not only that, but Wrath is the only recruitable bow cavalier in all of Fire Emblem 7, making him hugely unique and definitely a cool addition to any team, even if he's not the best unit in the world. His versatility and his novelty as that class is awesome and it helps him stand out. And of course, my personal favorite, which if you know me at all, is the fact that I believe that Wrath and Lynn have probably one of the best written romances in the entire series. And while my original video on this subject has aged rather poorly and I feel like I'd do a much better job, I've been sitting on remaking it, waiting for one thing to happen. And that, of course, is Wrath getting in Heroes. But just like Keanu Reeves never making Bill and Ted 3, <laughs> why Keanu? Why must you do this to me? Wrath will probably never be in Fire Emblem Heroes either, unless somebody does something about it. And while I may not be Obsidian Wasp, and I can't exactly meme a character in with a 4 minute MLG parody with hundreds upon hundreds of thousands of views, I can however say this. CYL3 has just started. Votes are coming in, and I don't think it's time that we vote for characters who already have alts, heroes OCs, or anything like that. I think it's time we vote for characters who don't necessarily have a chance. Reinhardt is a prime example of this. His success story can never be repeated because Intelligent Systems is so focused on making money off the seasonal banners with characters in skimpier clothing and adding huge whale bait armor units into Fire Emblem Heroes to ever add another fun and unique and interesting unit like Reinhardt who becomes a fan favorite. And I feel like Wrath, given his unique class, a class that is proven in Fire Emblem Heroes to be really good, hell, his wife is a prime example of this, Wrath has the capacity to become that fan favorite too, and I want it so bad. Because not only is Wrath one of my favorite characters, He's one of the characters I want to see get the fan base he deserves. Maybe it's just the Keanu lover in me talking. Maybe it's just because I like Wrath too much. Maybe it's because I'm closeted and I just fail to admit it. One of these things, or probably a combination of all three. Either way, Wrath deserves a shot at Fire Emblem Heroes, and he deserves some votes in Fire Emblem Choose Your Legends 3. He climbed up the polls, as you can see from my last video on this subject, almost a year ago, in fact. Oh no. Where have I been? Wrath has been slowly climbing the ranks, and I want to see him climb it further. So, why don't you ping any Fire Emblem YouTubers you know, any Fire Emblem Heroes YouTubers you know. Let's get the word out. Let's vote Wrath. Let's get this guy top 10. Maybe even top 5, and if he's top 2, he gets in the game. I think the biggest problem with ults like Lin and ults like Lucina and Celica is the thing is we vote for these characters who get other ults and then we complain about the amount of ults they have even though one of them is our fault? Considering the power we have to vote characters in, why not vote a character in who would never have a chance otherwise? Vote someone like Garrick or... Matthew, or, or or Douglas even, I don't know, anybody, Makalov, if you really feel like it, if you do, you're a terrible person, why would you, why would you ever vote Makalov? Anyways, vote Wrath, make a change in the world, and also be sure to tell Intelligent Systems to have Keanu Reeves voice him, because that would make me so unabashedly happy. Or at the very least, we could have Steve Bloom voice him, and then because Lynn is voiced by Wendy Lee, it'd be Spike and Faye from Cowboy Bebop, and that would just make me exactly as happy. Because I love me some Cowboy Bebop, and I love me some Wrath and Lynn, and Spike and Faye. Favorite, favorite things. Do that. I'm really awful at ending videos. It may be hard. It may be easy. But either way, you are capable.